the same as the OX5, but they, uh, they just put an MMO side on it instead. Right, the scroll wheel is bigger on this one. This is the OX5. Scroll wheel is bigger on the OX5. It's, a lot, it's slightly longer, you can see that. It's got this different badge, but different coating maybe. This looks a bit shinier. It looks identical inside there. So that side panel is a difference, which is probably why they made it the way they did, so they could make it modular, but I think they sacrificed a lot doing that. I mean, how easy was that to come apart? Why can't the RX-5 be like that? At least you took me about 20 minutes to take the RX-5 apart. Oh God, this looks rough inside. Looks a bit rough. They've built it very similar, but actually tweaked it. Now it's two single buttons. The other one on the X5 was a solid piece. Different um, PCB actually. This is this is different to the Aerox Five. They have changed it. Oh, it's got a side to side. I realize that this one. It's got a left to right one. So you got three screws down the side here. Another three screws. So a little bit of glue. I like the way they've got like an amber nectar colour here and then like an aqua blue here to hold the pins in. Um, just let the ribbon cable come out.
Oh, yeah, exactly the same. There you go. And you get like rubber insert bit. Okay, the buttons are built into it. It's like a TTC, can't tell yet. So I can mini one like Razor's using some of the Vipers. It's not that like same encoder, but it's that style. So this this is going to hinge forward, I guess, because it's got side to side movement. Everything's got glue, 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 glue. Really worried about it coming apart. It's also pushed into a little hook here. I'm just to get this glue off there. GST connecting so we can uh, take it off. There you go. The GST connectors is free. You can tell already it's using the same sensor because it's got the same backing as the um, Aerox 5. It's got the same wrapping as the Aerox. Uh, it looks a five hand, which means there won't be any battery number, but we're going to wait anyway. So, 350 milliamp, probably. Using an unbranded micro switch. Got a weird contraption on top of this. Look how big this piece is, covering the sensor and all this part of it. Well, that piece came off a bit easier for the sensor. Very similar scroll wheel as a basilisk. Looks like rocking on it, hinged like a razor do. It's like a little pull up, there you go. Smaller scroll wheel than the um, Airbox 5, I guess, trying to make it slightly more premium by putting the scroll wheel on it. Fully custom scroll wheel for it. I was hoping to take the scroll wheel out, but you can see here the encoder is soldered in. It's like little clips holding it here, but without damaging those, and you have to desolder it, I think, to get it out. There's these black clips I thought were part of this side mechanism, but I think they're actually part of the encoder. What it looks like. Very similar to the basilisk.
four screws on here. One, two, three, four. Different looking PCB. Just to trim out some of the weight though. Very complicated PCB. It's a long PCB. Congratulations, still. So you've got the longest PCB I've ever seen in my life. And it's 0.9 as well, not 0.8. Interesting. We're also rocking 80mm TTCs, which I find a little bit mushy to be fair. Um, and the rest of these little cheap ass switches. Similar diffuser to the Aerox 5. Sense a bit. And the base. Now the Aerox 5 base was pretty light, so interesting to see. And there we have the Steel Series Aerox 9 taken apart. 